modern school system, unfortunately, even though I, many of them try hard, it is designed for a standard person. One of the best ways of teaching dyslexics to read is to use every sense and every kind of movement as a thing called the Orton-Gillingham approach, which is where you don't just see the visual form of words, but you are able, you have the letters that you can touch, you are encouraged to draw the letters in sand. Every kind of sense and movement is employed, all of which can add to each other. And uh, dyslexics find that a much better way of learning to read. But also they have, because they have this um, holistic ability, they're able to um, use it for artistic and those sort of purposes. Yeah. The modern school system, unfortunately, even though I, many of them try hard, it is designed for a standard person, and a one size fits all. And the problem with um, dyslexia is that size doesn't fit them. Uh, and what should happen is that people would be aware that different people learn in different ways and they learn different things better than other children. So I always say if a dyslexic survives school, they can often do very well. But the trouble is they get so depressed and so frustrated and so angry as a consequence of not being understood and at the same time feeling failures all the time that they are often totally disenchanted and as you probably know, something like 50% of all the people in jail are thought to be dyslexic. That's a five times over representation of dyslexia in jail. Then I put it down to the schooling, I'm afraid. What, what happens if you're dyslexic and you're not creative? Yes, it's a good point. Um, not all dyslexics are creative. One shouldn't pretend they are. Um, and, of course, that's very difficult for them. Those are the ones that probably end up in jail, or many of them end up in jail. Um, but, again, I would say that if, if um, the school teachers understood what those children's talents are, they could do much better than they do. And there was a wonderful school in uh, Oxford uh, that I knew. In fact, it's still there, but not so good, so I won't mention the name, <laughs> um, where the headmaster had a very simple idea. He said that in any boy, it was a boy's school, any boy has a talent. And what our job to do is to find out what it is and then concentrate on that. Not worry whether they can't read or do arithmetic, but find what their talent is and nurture it. And I think that's such a good principle. I wish everybody would follow it.